not the first one. No, I wasn't going to number these. Yeah. Anyway. On the list. On the list at the top <laughs> of this list that I've written down here <laughs> is improper ledger flashing. Oh, flashing. Flashing. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. was just thinking about this. Do you think we should carry some flashing here? Yes. I've been could, seen it for a while. And we could get would... some like just pre-made 10-foot chunks. Yes, we should. And then the guys could drive over it with forklifts and then we could like write it off. It'd be handy. Discount at 5%. Yeah. All smashed up. No, but so the reason, I mean, the reason Bitter. we don't get asked for it a whole bunch because a lot of new builds, like the builders are pretty good for flashing things. They're pretty good for flashing the ledger. That's usually already done. And then yeah. in other cases, you're retrofitting something that was already flashed before or wasn't flashed or whatever. Like people just, they're not buying as much, but we should lead that charge. We should, we should carry this. One stuff. of the reasons I don't, like one of the reasons I haven't pushed super hard to have flashing is if the house is all like if it's already stuccoed and then you're putting a ledger on there, I actually don't believe in cutting into the stucco. Yeah. I'd rather do like a deck to wall spacer or some sort of spacer of some kind and then get away from the idea of trying to create a flashing. Yeah. So I don't disagree with you. I think in this market, um, first of all, we're really dry here. Let's always preface this kind of conversation with the fact that we get like 12 days of rain. Like here. your humor or the actual <laughs> humidity? I like. Both, I suppose. But um, where's the rim shot? We don't have one. We only have a wah wah. Oh, we do have a rim shot. There it is. Anything else you want to lie about today? (laughs) Is it called a rim shot? Yes. Yeah, okay. (laughs) Next. Um, (laughs) Hasn't been my experience. (laughs) So, (laughs) if you're going to flash the ledger, then it should be done properly. Here the goes. proper way is this to is get some Z flashing. This is spiral for the rest yeah. of the show. I feel Good like luck. I felt like I should step in and yeah. save this one if real quick. you're going to flash quick, something <laughs> after a rim shot. Um, there's, a, there's a comment in here in the Instagram from Happy Chappy before we get on. It says, past experience, flashing usually comes in all bent up. Paperwork city with claims. Yeah. Um, so Daryl's not on board with us carrying flashing. Yeah, sounds like not. Um, but anyways, what this is talking about is like, you gotta make sure that the water has a safe path of travel over the ledger board. So it doesn't get in behind. So it doesn't rot out the ledger board or worse, the floor system of the house, yep. the rim board of the house. That's the problem. Because if that happens, if the integrity of the wood that you fasten things to is compromised then the fastener is not going to hold in it. And that may be the least of your concerns. You may like, yep. So that's, that's the idea behind the ledger flashing. If you're going to flash it, <clears throat> and if you're not going to flash it, there better be a reason why you're not. Like it's got to be that water's not going to cause that problem somehow because you've addressed it in some other manner. But on new builds, the proper way to do that is to install your your ledger and your Z flashing over top and your paper in front, like over mm-hmm. top of the flashing mm-hmm. and behind the ledger board. And, mm-hmm. and some guys are using um, flexible flashing like a G-tape or, a, or a Vicor or blue skin or something behind over whatever creating some sort of envelope around the ledger board that the water's not going to get behind it. That's the point of it. Correct. To make sure that it doesn't compromise the integrity of the structure you're tying into. There's just a, who was it? Uh, I think it was, pre- we get, we give Premier Sean a lot of shout outs in this thing and he doesn't even tune in. Like to hell with that guy. Right? Does he ever listen to this thing? I don't know. Why does he think he's above this? He, he probably doesn't listen because he's busy doing his own thing. Oh, maybe. Um, anyway, but he, I'll reference him again. <laughs> He's, He's doing a job right now where it's a classic case. He pulled, I think he pulled off an old ledger, I assume, and it wasn't flashed properly. And he's kind of pulled the paper back now, the Tyvek back. And mm-hmm. sure enough, underneath the OSB sheathing and the rim board of the house, all dust. Like it's all black and molded and like yeah. rotting and falling apart. We actually don't have to go that far away. I delivered a deck package yesterday to Mike because we were short staffed in the yard. So uh, Mike from Decked Out. And we went out and they ripped the ledger off and same thing, like underneath same the door, yeah. it was all rotted. So he smashed all that plywood out and ripped it back to the floor joist and then got some new plywood, put the new plywood in and yep. house wrapped it up. And and that's again, in a market that doesn't have a lot of rain. Correct. Ele- only 11 days a year. Mm. I'm just going to keep decreasing it by one until the end of the show <laughs> and see if anybody notices like 12, 11 days, 10 days, four days. Anyway. What? The, no, the number's five, and then I'm gonna, and then later in the show, I'm going to ask if anybody <laughs> yeah. knows what the number is. It's like, you should have just done it. You should have just re- But if you're in a market like Washington, on the West Coast, I mean, Washington Speaking State, of Washington. British Columbia, Lower Mainland. I watched the Jeffrey Epstein show the other day. Holy smokes. Okay, here we go. <laughs> that dude was a sick puppy. Yeah. Speaking of deck failures. Go ahead. 
Um, you just said Washington made me think of the Clintons and, and <laughs> Epstein didn't kill himself. So. I was like, what is this? <laughs> Six degrees of decking Epstein? Yeah. Um, so you know, on the West Coast, if you're getting literally 220 days of rain, you should be paying a little bit more attention to this. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and our audience is from all over, not just here. So ensure that you're doing the proper practices for your area as far as flashing comes to on your ledger board. Yep. Um, in our area, you mentioned sometimes we don't like to cut away the stucco. I'm also not a huge fan of doing that because I feel like you're just inviting problems more than like you're trying to do something that's going to be preventative. But in many cases, you're just inviting opportunity for problems. And yeah, we've always kind of said if it's an old acrylic stucco or whatever that doesn't like, obviously you can't have any foam, rigid foam insulation behind it or whatever. It's got to be basically, basically like rim joist sheathing wire, like paper wire stucco. Mm-hmm. In that case where there's nothing that's going to compress, whatever. But we're, we've done it before with, yeah, using a spacer off there to allow water to clear behind and have an air gap, airflow, using some silicone around where the fasteners go in. Some guys put the ledger board against the stucco and just caulk the top or cut in of some flashing or something, as opposed to cutting out all the stucco, removing all the wire, trying to slide the flashing up in behind and trying to re-flash and paper and tape it's an awful idea. It never works. <clears throat> to try to do that. It's like yeah. on paper, that's the proper way to do it. We all understand that, but often it, it invites problems. Yeah. So, Yep. But one way or another, make sure the water's not going to damage the, the house structure. 